Hello, and thank you for joining me on this journey of meditation and healing and the discovery of freedom, peace, and manifestation. We will be focusing on the topic of abundance and meditating on how we can become more abundant in all aspects of life. Find a quiet place. You can practice this meditation lying down or seated, whichever position you feel most comfortable. Although sitting will help you stay present and in the moment. Release any worries that may be on your mind. Release any feelings you may have that you need to be somewhere else. Here is where you need to be right now. Close your eyes gently. Allow the lids to rest softly. Do not squeeze your eyes shut. Smooth out your forehead and unclench your jaw. Make sure that your top teeth are not touching your bottom teeth and that your tongue is relaxed. Slowly inhale through the nose and release. One, two, three, four. Exhale, let go of all the tension in your mind and body. Again, inhale through the nose, slowly counting. One, two, three, four and exhale, let it all go, release. On the next inhale, imagine a white light from above being showered from a great vessel in the sky. And this white light is pouring into the crown of your head. Inhale deeply and imagine that you are being immersed in this white light from head to toe and that every cell, every part of you is vibrating at the same frequency as this white light. Now imagine this vessel from which this white light has been poured into you. Imagine that this vessel is your favorite color, whether it's purple or green or yellow or orange, whatever is your favorite color. Imagine that this vessel is that color. And imagine all the things that you have asked for within your life are inside this vessel. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you feel it or not on a subconscious level, there is a very deep and relevant part of you that wants to succeed on every level, that wants to create a life of joy, happiness, ease, abundance, and security. Most of us want to manifest large sums of money, but we don't know where to start, or we have been made to believe that if we just sit still and think positive thoughts, that the money will magically appear. And even though this might be in the realm of possibility, it is not a realistic outlook to have. A very important part of manifesting is focusing and creating those things that fulfill your deepest needs. To take the actions necessary to create those things that serve as tools to help you grow so that you may have the best life possible. Money and possessions alone will not complete your life, nor will it necessarily give you the feelings and experiences you want and crave. Contrary to what many of us were taught to believe, and we continue to believe, is that once we have all this money, a large house, a luxurious car and wardrobe, we will finally know peace. This is a myth. In fact, by first creating inner peace, focusing on the things that bring you joy and creating joy for others, 
allowing inner peace to flow through you, you will automatically become more magnetic to all the things you want in life, not just monetary freedom. When we look at money or possessions as tools so that we can better express ourselves and realize our full potential, as opposed to a thing that fills a void or something you lack, you become not only more magnetic to money, but you become more magnetic to all the other things that you want in life, all the other factors that affect your state of well being, your emotional well being, your physical well being. Repeat after me I live in an abundant universe where there are endless resources. And in this moment, I have everything that I want and need. Start acting like you already have everything that you want, if you don't already. The love of your life, financial freedom, the perfect career, sincere friendships, the time and energy to create beautiful things. Think about the person who has all these things that you want. What is their behavior? What do they look like? How do they feel? Are they worried, fearful, insecure, hesitant? Or are they confident, knowledgeable, real? Take the time to cultivate relationships and positive emotions, positive behaviors. The individual who has all those things that you're craving that you want to experience, are they disciplined? Or do they constantly procrastinate? How do they talk? What are their facial expressions? Are they honest with themselves and with others? All those things you thought of are the things you need to cultivate so that you can become the person the younger version of yourself dreamed of becoming. Be honest. Be disciplined. Be compassionate. Be open to new experiences be open to creating, be present and mindful. Understand that the prize is not the money in the bank, the fame, the fortune, or the love of your life. These are all externalities that can change minute to minute. The real prize is you. You are the prize. Once you realize and understand this on a cellular level, You will also realize that you deserve and were meant to experience all those things that your soul craves and desperately wants to enter into your existence. Remember, your thoughts are energy, your actions, your emotions, your behaviors are energy. Is your energy aligned on every level as much as it can be? Let's try to do that right now. Let's go back to the vessel that was filled with white light. Choose your favorite color and imagine that this vessel is your favorite color, whether it's green, blue, purple, yellow, whatever it may be. Now imagine inside this vessel are all the things that you have asked for in your life, all the prayers that have already been answered, good health, the job you worked so hard to get, the relationships, the home, the car, whatever it may be. Focus on all the things you received through prayer, through your thoughts and through your actions, through your right actions. You received those things because of who you are and how you thought and what you did. You put in the effort, the time, the energy, and you worked towards creating the circumstances that allowed you to receive those gifts. Focus on this vessel where all the things you have already manifested exist. Bring your awareness and gratitude for all these things, big or small. 
Allow the feeling of gratitude to wash over you for each of these manifestations and understand that you are responsible for creating all these things you asked for and that already exist. Imagine now all those things that you have been working towards manifesting but have not completely come to fruition. Pick one thing you have been working on that you feel could be going a little better for you right now. Maybe you want to meet the perfect partner. Imagine the perfect partner. Imagine your perfect person. What does this person do? How do they look like? Is this person a business person? Is he or she an arts person? Are they very creative? Are they in medicine? Are they in healing? Are they in law? Or politics? How do they look? And would they be the type of person that would let you into their life? Think about who you would need to become in order to meet this perfect person. Would you need to lose weight, gain weight, move locations, change how you feel about yourself, change how you dress, walk, speak? I'm not suggesting that you need to change who you are at your core or your personality. I'm just trying to get you to think about making little changes in your own behavior, your thoughts and your actions that will vibrate at the frequency where you can create the circumstances so that you will meet this perfect person. Remember, it's not just about having positive thoughts or always thinking positively. It is about showing up for your life, being grateful for what you have already and relating to the universe in a way that lets the universe know you have faith. It will provide everything you desire. Thinking correctly acting correctly and attempting for the most part to have the correct emotions remember the universe doesn't care if you are happy or sad or angry or fearful these are just emotions they are energy they are frequencies that vibrate at a certain level so think about the level at which you wish to vibrate do you want your frequency to vibrate at the level of happiness and joy, ease and gratitude? Or do you want to vibrate at a frequency of lack, a feeling that you will never be enough? The universe already knows you are enough because you are here in human form having these experiences. The universe is always waiting for you to match its frequency of love for you. Repeat after me. The universe always has my back and things are always working out for me. Sitting in your quiet, safe space, close your eyes and once again, imagine all those things your soul wants to manifest and all those things you have been working towards manifesting in your life. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth, releasing any tension you may be feeling in your body. Now imagine all those things that are on their way to you, putting them into a new vessel. This new vessel will be purple, since purple is related to prosperity. Imagine this beautiful purple color all around you. It is floating around you and through you, swirling around you, protecting you and giving you energy. Now, in your mind's eye, imagine that you are just waking up from a restful night's sleep. You open your eyes. What do you see? What do you want to see? What do you want to feel? What fabric 
is your bedding made of? Are you covered with a light blanket or a heavy duvet? Are you in a house, a condominium, or an apartment? Is there someone beside you or are you alone? Make no judgments and just allow yourself to accept the feelings that are showing up. What colors are surrounding you? Are they earthy, green, and subtle? Or are they strong, vibrant, and stimulating? Again, make no judgments. This is your space, your place, your home, so you can make it look and feel however you want. Now, begin to wake up slowly and move around your home. Walk around. How many rooms does it have? How many stories does it have? Is it large, luxurious, or is it modest but beautiful and comfortable? What do you want out of your home? Your home is not just a place where you hang your hat to sleep. It is a place where you live and where you spend a great deal of time. Maybe even where you work and where you conduct a business. You want it to be comfortable, inviting, special, and free of confusing or low vibrational frequencies. You want to be able to be yourself in your own home, to express yourself and to be your most authentic without resistance and without anything being in your way. Now, make your way into your living room area. Is it large, expansive, airy, or is it more compact, relaxed, and cozy? Choose your favorite piece of furniture and sit. Your coffee or tea in hand. Take in the sights, the sounds, the smells of your home. Are there large or small windows around you? Is there a swimming pool outside? Bring in all those amenities that you want to have in your home. You can make it as large or small as you want. It is yours, and it will be decorated in your taste, your favorite colors, your designs, your art. What does it feel like to be sitting here in your favorite spot? Bring in that feeling and allow it to fill every space of your being, every cell of your body, as this majestic purple energy swirls around you. And allow gratitude to surround you and to fill your entire being. Feel grateful for this beautiful home that you have created. Now I will allow you to sit on your own for a few moments, taking in the beauty that you feel, taking in the gratitude that you feel, the authenticity and the magic that you feel that is being emitted from the home you have created.
open your eyes and relish this moment. Be grateful for what you see. Fill your senses with the beauty that you have created and the authentic space you live in. Allow gratitude to fill your entire being and allow peace and joy to fill your being. Feel that the universe is always working for your best interest. You and the universe are partners in your soul's journey, and that is something you need to work on believing more and more each and every day. I am so thankful that you are sharing this journey with me. I am so happy and grateful that you are working towards improving your life and manifesting your soul's purpose. As always, I wish you much love, luck, and abundance galore.